students who are really involved and excited about learning a musical instrument. That's what every music teacher wants, right? Hi, I'm Jim Chase, co-producer of Tenaday, your video assistant that can help students gain the proper fundamentals of the instruments of the orchestra. We'd like to show you a sample of what Tenaday is all about, so you'll know why we're so excited about the possibilities of just 10 minutes a day. Tenaday is a revolutionary new concept in instruction for strings. Now students don't have to struggle learning incorrectly. They can begin immediately with correct postures and with correct building, correct playing habits. Stephen Hyde is the Mary Franks Thompson Professor of Orchestral Studies at Baylor University and also the music director and conductor of the Waco Symphony. From his position, he works with many high school orchestras around the country, giving clinics and helping students with their techniques. It was a student at one of those clinics that precipitated the idea for Tenaday. I met a young man out there who, who had all the desire and obviously all the talent in the world, but he just was having problems playing the instrument. And when I looked at him, I realized that he, he was holding the instrument incorrectly. He had never had private lessons. And if you don't have that advantage on the string instruments, there's no way you're going to play well. So that's really the catalyst for starting this whole project. The Tenaday String Series starts with the basics for the section. The tapes cover violin, viola, cello, and bass. The first tape for each covers the correct bow hold. The thumb does not go in here, but rather at the point that the front of the frog meets the stick or the wood of the bow. That's the contact point for the tip of the thumb. The middle finger is placed opposite the thumb on the first knuckle. On the violin viola segments, Stephen Hyde is joined by Kevin Lawrence of the North Carolina School of the Arts. About where the change occurs. Cello clinicians are two well-known Southwestern area musicians and wit of the Texas String Project. Let's extend the end pin, but make it just about an inch short of where you think it really needs to go. So move it out to where you think is your right position, but leave it about an inch from being all the way. And John Burton of Texas Christian University in Fort Worth. A little exercise that you can try is to hold the bow in your left hand, position those three points of contact, and then push against your left hand with the right hand grip, pushing and pulling. And what you see is a certain degree of flexibility in the bow. The push stroke would be the up bow, the pull stroke, the down bow. And you can try this away from the cello to see that the hand is flexible and that the fingers do move. For the bass, Chris Butto of Baylor University is the instructor. And as you can see here, Chris sometimes has a different perspective. As you draw each bow, aim for that point. This will help you draw a full bow as well as a straight bow. <laughs> Once the concepts of holding the bow and drawing it are established, the series moves to the fundamentals of tone production. And now for the down bow, pulling over with your upper arm straight to the side. And gradually lowering your wrist. And segments on the correct positioning of the left hand. The fingers basically approach the string at a 90 degree angle, although they may be slightly angled back towards the peg box. Since posture is one of the most common mistakes of new players, segments are included on this subject, too. Forcing your body to work against its natural physiology places great stress on it and makes playing a great chore not something that is free, easy, and great fun. And we do live in a very visual-oriented society now. A picture is worth a thousand words. And when a student can see what the teacher is trying to do, and if he has a problem, he can stop and rewind and look at it again then he has a fighting chance to master these techniques. In order to make ordering as simple as possible, we're offering a 30-day trial period. Take the tapes, try them out in your program, and if for any reason you're not completely satisfied, return them for a full credit. Now the teachers can really demand from their students good playing postures. They know that the instruction is good. They know that the student can do it if they spend the time to do it. It gives a whole nother level of expectation maybe even for a grade, you know, that we no longer have to put up with people attempting to play in tune when their left hand position will never allow them to play in tune. 
that we never have to put up with faulty tone production because the bow isn't straight. We now have a method to insist that all those things are covered correctly and really demand excellence. And I think when students have some success from these tapes and they start to play better, their enthusiasm for the program and for playing an instrument is going to be greatly enhanced. The final segment in the string series covers the important area of relaxation, keeping young players from becoming tense and urging them to enjoy their instrument. The one factor more than any other that inhibits people from playing their very, very best is tension. On this video, we will discuss some of the factors that cause tension in string players and hopefully give you some ways to deal with them. I think what we're talking about here is a revolution of instruction. Ten a day is an exciting new concept that will ensure that students learn things correctly the first time and not struggle with bad habits the rest of their life. Order today. Mail your purchase order to Ten a Day, P.O. Box 823, Waco, Texas, 76703. Or for faster service, call 1-800-366-2489 for Visa MasterCard orders. In most cases, we can ship the same day. Thanks a lot for taking a look at Ten a Day. And let us know how we can be of assistance to you and your students.